Hello, this is Mrs. Real, your librarian, and today I'm going to show you how to format citations in Google Docs. What you need to know about citations is that at Roosevelt, we use APA style. Citations are listed in order alphabetically. Next, citations, if they contain more than one line of text, the second, third, fourth, etc. lines need to be indented properly. This is called a hanging indent. I'll teach you how to do this in a moment. And finally, citations are double spaced. Here's an example of a citations page. You may call it references, works cited, even citation page, citations or citation page works. I like references for my citations page. I have my citations copied and pasted from the articles I've used, books and um, different database articles. You'll notice they're already in alphabetical order. If they were not in alphabetical order, for example, if this citation was ahead of this one, to change that, you'll select the citation that's in the wrong place and we'll cut Control or Command X, click where it needs to go, Control or Command V to paste, and now my citations are in correct ABC order. Next, you'll notice that I have a citation at the beginning here that's three lines long. This is not three separate citations, it's all part of one citation. So I need to create a hanging indent to show that this is just a single citation instead of three. To do that, select the whole citation, and then go up here to your ruler, and we're looking for the rectangle and the triangle, the really teeny tiny rectangle and triangle. We're just going to click on this teeny tiny triangle and move it over to the half inch mark. Now when I've done that, everything moved over half an inch, but I want the first line to move back to the margin edge. So to move that first line back, I'm going to take the teeny tiny rectangle and move that back to the edge where it says zero. Once I've done that, now I have a hanging indent showing this is all one citation. Makes it easier to read. Lastly, my citations page needs to be double spaced. Right now it's single spaced, so to make a double spaced citation page, I can go up here to edit, select all, and then I'll go to Format, Line Spacing, and choose Double. So now my citations page is double spaced. It's a lot easier to read. You'll notice I have extra spaces in between. We probably don't need those, so you can delete those out to shorten up your citation page so it's not too long. So now my citations page is in alphabetical order. It has double spaced and it has hanging indents for citations that are really long. There you go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask your librarian or your teacher and they will be happy to help you.